really try, keep trying to take my son from me. Like, why? Y'all, first of all, need to stay the f*** out of it. Two, I'm trying to run to the car. I'm unlocking the door. I get in on this side. I, I'm thinking I'm hurry up and locking it. Bitch, pop this door open. So I got bitch at this door and this bitch at this door. She keeps trying to grab KL. I'm literally hugging my baby tight. Like, you're not grabbing him. Like, that's out. You're not grabbing my son. I'm right there. This little ugly Not the bitch Dage. The other little ugly I booted that bitch in her face, too. She start trying to take off on me while I got KO. Then they tried to throw out there that I'm holding KO so I don't have to fight. No. Because they can whip me one-on-one. -on -one. And two, y'all all keep trying to grab my son. Y'all keep trying to grab him. That's why I'm holding him. Y'all keep trying to take him from me. And I'm not letting you take him. I did not fly all the way out here and get a rental car and drive a whole hour up in the mountains. Just to let y'all thought I was really finna let y'all get him. That's just crazy. I like I have a whole black eye. I came out here and when I was in the car driving, I think the GPS says 17 more minutes. I started praying. I said a prayer. I thank God for waking me up and I thanked him for giving me traveling mercies. And all I prayed and asked for was to let everything go smooth. I ain't even have time for none of that. We don't have to talk. I don't mind going through about you. I didn't move on with my life. I do what the fuck I got to do for my son. That's just that. I don't you. But the fact that you could really let some do some shit like that in front of your son and sit back and watch. And you know what he kept saying to me? Okay, you guys, so get into this craziness. So NBA young boy's baby mama, Arcola, is accusing him of having two females jump on her when she was trying to get her child. So NBA young boy and Arcola have been butting heads for the past few weeks because when he wanted her to come get the child, she would tell NBA young boy, you need to keep him a little longer. You've only had him two weeks. Now, mind you, they do not stay in the same state. So when she has to go get the baby, she has to go catch a flight. Now, about two weeks ago, Ago, she wanted to come get her child but NBA young boy was being petty and he told her now you wait two weeks till you come get him so she ended up waiting her two weeks and she reached out and asked hey you know can I come get the baby what's up he told her um you could come get him on weekends basically insinuating that he's the one that's gonna raise him at this point so she told him I'll be out there Wednesday he ended up blocking her she said she caught a flight last night got a rental car and went to go get her baby so she said lmao his security so weak i drove right past them and walked right in that house like i paid the bills i was so calm and respectful i oh, asked where is kl hopefully i'm pronouncing the baby name right share this video now in the latest news that is coming in in this exact moment in time they're saying that nba young boy and the baby mama actually are back in the news but of course for the wrong reasons one of the baby mamas of NBA, we all know he has so many, we don't know even the number, and so many babies. I think the last time we had it, there were like 11, but you never know. He might have got more in this period. So um, the baby mama, she's coming out to say that NBA young boy actually ordered a couple of women to beat her up to the point that she got five stitches in her face the baby mama she comes out on social media i've seen a couple of screenshots and some photos and they don't really look so good you know the beating must have been so intense she says that nba young boy together with the, with his own dad actually they were in the car and ordered these women to come and attack her and actually um put their arms onto her face to the point that her face got braised you know she got a couple of injuries up to the point of rushing to the hospital but what you know what surprised me is that even the father-in-law was just in there when these women were actually attacking this baby mama and uh, from what she says um, she said that uh, she even was holding NBA's, yeah, NBA's young uh, one-year-old in her arms by the time these women attacked her. But for me, my, my take on all this is that I don't know why these women are so much interested in these rappers. Because for a person who has showed that he 
doesn't care about you he doesn't love you he cannot defend you he cannot protect you how on earth are you still interested related to this man honestly these women at some point they deserve all the kind of treatment they get because there are lots of other good men come on leave the man alone he's a rapper he's from the streets he will not care about you nevertheless that he has all the money but he will not care about you so uh she was beaten or uh, rushed to the hospital you know she was given five stitches in the face you know it's whole lot of i mean whole difficult situation are in and it's really very very heartbreaking because if nba young boy did not protect the baby mama then i don't know whom he will protect because even king van he did not protect him anyway let's hope that things pan out well for these two lovebirds